Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Shopper's Trails and Tales. So in this little episode, I'm just going to take you out in the bush. We're going to be going to set up a beaver house. I'm going to actually show you how I set up a beaver house. And uh, we're strictly going to be using snares. So don't go away, I'm going to be right back. Okay, so we pretty well arrived at the pond. Again, this is going to be a tutorial uh, uh, video. Uh, I know uh, some of the guys watching it will be old veteran trappers and it's all uh, basically common sense to them, but I'm making this video for the new guys coming up, coming up in the ranks. So uh, just bear with me and uh, I'll walk you through this whole procedure, how I how I uh, set up a house, how I know if the house is alive or not, uh, where the entrances would be located on the house, just stuff like that. So as, uh, as we arrive at the pond, here's a sure sign that there's beavers. You can see right here, even though it's snowed on, this, this is fresh. Made this fall. But, as you can see, it's an old pine tree so when they start chewing that <clears throat> should make easy catch it okay so we're sitting at the edge of the pond uh, again this is for the newcomers how I uh, basically set up uh, set up a pond fresh house so the first uh, first objective is to find out to see if there's any beavers in here and that's what you do is Sometimes you'll have bank beavers, which is kind of hard to kind of hard to locate unless you do your scouting in the fall. Right now uh, it's winter time, so I'm in a pond here, and they actually have a lodge. As you can see, the lodge is right there. But again, we don't know if it's live until we actually go physically take the top of the snow off to check the chimney. So before I go out, number one rule is safety. You always be careful. Always have an ice chisel, an axe. Check the ice as you pro proceed to the house, just due to the fact that there, if there's, there's live beaver, or if there is beavers in the house, all the activity around the house, the ice is going to be very thin around the, at the house. So the last thing you want to do is fall in, right? So again, we're going to take my ice chisel. I'll walk out. I'm not bringing no gear with me. I'll take my ice chisel, find a safe uh, route to the house, and then uh, we'll take it from there. Again, we're getting relatively close to the house, so now this is where your caution goes up. Okay, so we've made it to the house. Now we've got to see if the house is live. And the sure deal with that is we're going to do, uh, open, take the snow off the top of the house and that's going to tell us if there's any beavers in there because the chimney will be open. And the chimney is an air hole that comes out of the house and the heat from the beaver comes up through the hole and it keeps actually the snow basically melted off the top of the house. So we're going to have a look here and we'll see if this is, oh I don't even have to. So as we climb the top of the house I didn't even have to take the roof off it. And you can see all the melted snow, and that's from the beaver inside it. And their body heat's coming up through the, the air hole of the house, and it keeps the, it keeps the, the snow melted. Second thing, now the third thing I look for is their, is their feed bed. And you can see the feed bed right here. Uh, this has been a crazy year. We hardly have no snow, when normally we have two, three, four feet of snow by now. But we only have like about a foot, so. And this is where the ice is going to get dangerously thin. Just 
from the fact that the beavers will be leaving their lodge here and they'll be going out and they'll be feeding, they'll be chewing off on their feed bed. So there's a lot of activity there which keeps the ice relatively thin. So we're going to check this ice and, and uh, we'll find out where we, I'm going to set my bait poles. Okay guys, so again, this is where, th if you're going to fall through the, the ice, this is where it's going to be. So again, now you just check the ice around. Is it right there. No ice hardly there at all. Again, I'm standing actually on the house, but So with the thick ice here, and very thin ice here, this is telling me basically this is where the entrance would be. If I was setting corner bears, this is where I'd concentrate, set up entrances sets. But again, because I'm using bait poles, I'm going to be snaring these guys. I'm just going to move out a little bit, where the ice is getting a little thicker. And uh, yeah, we'll set them up and catch them that way. <coughs> Okay, so I'm getting ready to set these up again. You can see here, this is where my pick went through, through the ice, which basically determines, and lets me know that that's where the entrance is. So I'm gonna be concentrating around here. I might set one up on the far side of the, the feed bed. You can see the feed bed extends here, so I'm gonna be concentrating basically right here. I bought five bait poles, so let's get them up. So I shoveled off the snow where I was going to, I'm setting my bait poles. And you can basically see all the air bubbles around here. All the activity. You can see actually, I don't know how well you can see it. You can see a stick that's been chewed off right here. So, so obviously you're in the right spot. So let's get these guys set up. Okay, so the next step I'm doing now is setting up these bait poles. The snares, so what I've done is I've chopped a couple of holes in the ice. Uh, the water is relatively shallow right here, but as you move towards the feed bed, the water just gets deeper and deeper. So I opt to set my first one here. The ice again is only maybe about a half an inch thick, three quarters of an inch. So I take the pole, put it down, sink it in the mud. So you can see right now the water is only two and a half feet deep. So what I do is I'll make a mark right here. And start setting up my snares. And when I set these snares up, I like my snares maybe about an inch or two below the ice. Just so if I catch one, it doesn't freeze to the ice and all that. And saves a lot of chopping when you catch one. So again, I'm going to be setting up six snares on these here, but I'm, you can set as many as you want. But I like, uh, I like the number six. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be concentrating, catching the beavers just under the ice. What the beavers will do is they'll come, they'll, when this is frozen in the ice, they'll chew it off at the top, and then they'll swim to the bottom, chew it off where it's sunk in the mud and then take it in. So a lot of trappers, what they'll do is they'll set snares at the top, just under the ice. And again, right on the bottom where they, they miss them on the top, you catch them on the bottom. But I'm just a uh, person of habit. I just concentrate with my snares just above the, just below the ice. All right, so we're gonna get this set up and I'll show you the setup. So a quick, uh, just a quick show on how I set these bait poles up. Again, we got the bait pole with the water depth, which is about two and a half feet. I tie the snares directly onto the pole with a piece of wire here, here, and here. What I do is I'll take a piece of wire then after, it's called a security wire, and I'll tie it off on the bottom and I'll bring it up and I'll run it through the eyes of each of these snares. Bring it in there, wrap it around, 
bring it through that set, wrap it around, bring it through that set, and then the wire goes up above the ice, and then it gets tied off. Another important piece of this set is a, is a safety pole, which will go between the pole and this wire, and it'll cross the top of the ice on the up, outside the water, upside the ice, and that's going to save that pole from being pulled under by the beaver when you made a catch. Very simple, very deadly, and what I do is I'll scrape some of the bark off the tree, off the bait pole, just for extra attraction. All right, so we're going to get this thing under the ice and move on to the next one. And as you can see, there's the finished set with, with the safety cross in there so the beaver can't pull it in. Now when, I, uh, when I'm cutting a hole for these sets, I like a long, narrow slit, just enough to get the pole down there and the snares. A lot of guys like a great big hole. I like this so if I catch something before this hole freezes, there's no way the beaver is going to come up through a two inch wide slit in the ice. Another thing I don't do is I don't cover these with snow. Again, a lot of guys like to cover them with snow, keep them from freezing solid. Myself, I like to leave them open. And my opinion on this is the sun can shine on there, the beavers see it easier. And uh, some of you guys that's been watching my videos, it's I'm not very, it's not common, but I'm not surprised when I pull up an otter. And this set, just due to the fact, I think the light attracts tadpoles, minnows, and that. And then when the otters come around. They start chasing the minnows, tadpoles get caught in a snare and end up with a bonus otter. Alright, so I got four more sets to do and then uh, we'll be moving on. So one more thing about these sets, again it's like the 1st of January. So basically, you're, basically when you're setting these you're competing with the fresh feed bed that's under the ice right here. So at first it might be relatively slow, just because there's so much fresh bait for them. But as each week progresses, or as each week progresses, the feed bed starts getting more staler, and then these bait poles will really be working. Okay, guys, so we're all finished up here. You can see here I have four snare poles here, and then I decided on the other side of the feed bed. To set a single pole here. When I was chopping the ice there, I poked uh, the hole through the ice and all kinds of air bubbles came up, a whole bunch of air. So that tells me they've been working that area. So I decided to set one there to give it a try. Okay, so that's it for this house. Uh, again, Everybody has their own uh, techniques of snaring beaver under the ice. Again, this is my, my, uh, my way, and it worked, uh, it's worked fine for me for many, many years. And I'm sure if you give it a try, it's going to work for you. So, so on that little note, we're just going to let you go. and hope to see you on the next adventure of Trappers, Trails, and Tales. Later, guys.